Hi, I'm Jess Newman and I'm a lecturer at the University of Reading and I work in floods and flooding and environmental management. So in my job I have a breakdown of about 50% teaching and 50% research. So I spend quite a lot of time with students um, teaching them about um, landscape management, flooding, what we can do to help reduce the impacts of flooding. And then in my research I spend a lot of time out with uh, farmers, local communities, um, the Environment Agency, making sure that the, um, the research that we do actually gets delivered on the ground and people are really interested in finding out what they can do as individuals to help reduce the impacts of flooding or prepare if they're potentially going to be flooded. The best thing about my job is getting to meet lots of different people. Um, so I work with scientists on a regular basis here at the university but I really enjoy going out and standing in a field with a farmer talking about how he wants to um, manage his land better to help sort of stop the runoff the, when, when the rain falls to stop the runoff coming into the rivers so quickly um, but also I do quite a lot of engagement with local communities who are really sort of geared up and interested in sort of reducing the impacts of flooding in their local areas. Before I started this career, I definitely wish I'd known a little bit more about maths. I'm not very mathematical. Um, and once I got into this career, I'd have liked to have spent a little bit more time learning about um, the weather, meteorology, because I think that's a really key part of understanding why floods happen. So for my A-levels, I studied environmental science, geography, and biology. I also had a go at maths, um, but that didn't work out too well for me, so I didn't complete my maths A-level. Um, but it did enable me to go into university to study physical geography um, here at Reading. So I was inspired to do physical geography at university just because I really loved um, all aspects of sort of the natural environment and the earth and volcanoes and floods and really extreme events like that and um, I then went on to do a PhD which was actually unrelated to flooding I worked on um, biodiversity loss here in the UK in woodlands and then I ended up kind of bringing back my sort of geographical extreme events um, background and working in uh, flood forecasting and yeah, that's kind of led me to where I am today, working with local communities and people to try and reduce the impacts of flooding and help people prepare. 